this project, I'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook and yarn size that's appropriate for the hook. I want to clarify that you can use any hook size, you can use any yarn size. I would recommend something bigger than a 3 millimeter hook, so a 4, 4.5, or even 5 would be the perfect size. But then again, you can use whatever you have at home. And we're going to be making the ribbing of the arm and leg warmers first. This is what the ribbing will look like. It's so cute. This is perfect for any cardigans that you want to make or any other designs that you might need a cuff for. So we are going to be making one for each arm warmer. It's going to wrap around the base like that. I start off by making a slip knot. And then once again, this ribbing is completely customizable to your measurement. So how big you want the ribbing to be, it's completely up to you. I'm going to start off by chaining the length that I want for my arm warmer. To chain, you just grab the yarn, twist and pull it through while keeping tension by moving your fingers upwards like that. And then once you have the length that you want for your arm warmer, you're going to do your turning chain and then you're going to be single crocheting into the second chain from your hook. To single crochet, you insert your hook into the chain, you grab a loop and then you yarn over and pull through both loops. That's how you single crochet. And now just go all the way down inserting one single crochet in each chain. Once you're done, you're going to do another turning chain, which is just a simple chain one, and then turn your work. And usually what we do is that we single crochet into the stitch like normal. But this time, we're only going to be single crocheting in the back loop. This is your front loop, and this is your back loop. So you're going to be inserting your hook into the back loop only, like that. And then you're going to be making a single crochet like normal. And this is what gives the ribbing this effect over here. And you get that by working into the back loops only. So once again, we're going to be working into our next stitch. So front loop, back loop, and you're going to be going only into the back loop. And then you're just going to be doing a single crochet. So do this all the way down, working into only your back loops. And just do this in every stitch until you reach the end of the row. I'm going to show you one more time. So pick up your back loop and then just single crochet. Here I finished my row and then to start a new row, always chain one and turn your work. And now you're just going to repeat these steps by single crocheting only into the back loops until your ribbing is as long as you want it to be. So the size of your ribbing should be able to comfortably fit around your wrist. And I'm going to show you my, what my finished piece looks like once I'm done with it. And that's for the arm warmers. For the ribbing, for the leg warmers, make it, as, make it big enough to fit around your legs. And that's it. That's how you do the ribbing. And you just keep doing rows until you have the size that you want. I'm all done with my piece. I did around 23 rows for anyone who wants to make it the same size as me. And now I'm going to be showing you how to join the piece together. You're going to be folding your piece in half and lining up these two edges. And now we're going to be slip stitching it together. So hold on to your yarn and insert your hook into the corner like that. And then, sorry. Grab the yarn and just slip stitch it through like this. Hopefully that made sense. And now I'm going to be working in the back loop. So go into your back loop, then go into the other piece and just slip stitch like that. So one more time, pick up your back loop, go into the piece and slip stitch. And that's it. You're just going to do this all the way down. So back loop, piece, and slip stitch to join. And this is just going to attach your piece together and then you will be all done. I just finished joining it. This is what it looks like. And this is what it's going to look like when I put it on. You just slide it onto your hand 
and it should fit comfortably on your wrist like this. And now we're going to be starting the top part. Oops, sorry. So we're going to be working directly on the top part. We're not going to fasten off, cut the yarn, and then start again. You're just going to start from the same place where you joined and you're going to be chaining two. And now we're going to be inserting double crochets all around. So just yarn over, insert your hook where you find the space, and insert a double crochet. And that's it. Just go wherever you find space and just insert a double crochet until you reach back over here. And then I'm going to show you how to work in rounds to do the arm warmer. So I've done a double crochet all around like this and now I'm back over here. I'm just going to be inserting one more double crochet in this space over here. And then you're going to be ending the round by slip stitching into your chain two. So that's the chain two we made. You're just going to go at the top of that chain two. So chain one, chain two. Just push your hook in it and slip stitch. And that is how you end the round. And now you're just going to keep doing rounds until your arm warmer comes up to over here. Then we're going to be making the hole for the thumb and then continuing this part. So keep doing rows. So if your ribbing is here, keep doing rows until you reach this part. To start another row, you're just going to chain two and then insert one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And that's it. Once you reach the end of the round, you slip stitch in the chain two, and then you start a new round by chaining two and then inserting one double crochet in each stitch. Once you're done doing as many rounds as you want, I did a total of eight rounds. You're going to be starting the round where you add the hole where your thumb will fit. So let me just try this on real quick and show you guys where the hole for the thumb is going to be so basically this is my arm warmer on and over here i'm going to be making a little hole so there's going to be like a chain that goes from here till here and then it works in rounds to complete the arm warmer and i'm not sure if i want to make this longer or if this is the perfect size but yeah so start a new round like normal you just chain two and then insert one double crochet into the stitch like you normally would. But then don't complete it, like don't go around inserting one double crochet in each stitch. Instead, what you're gonna do is you're going to skip the number of stitches you need to skip to make space for your thumb. So what you can do is you can hold your arm warmer like this and see how many stitches you need to skip to have place for your thumb. So I'm going to be skipping five. So I'm going to skip one, two, three, four, and five. So what you're going to do is you're going to chain the number of stitches that you're skipping. So I'm going to chain five, four, and five. And then you're going to skip one, two, three, four, five. And then in the next stitch, you're going to be basically double crocheting. So I'm going to double crochet into the sixth stitch like that. And that's basically it. Now you have your hole for the thumb, which you can just easily insert your thumb into. And now all you're going to do is you're going to be inserting one double crochet in each stitch until you come back over here. So just like how you were doing your rounds previously. And then once you're done and, you're, and you come back over here, I'm going to show you what to do next. This is what it should look like on. You've got your chain coming here and this is where you're continuing the round. But yeah, that's how it works. So I'm at the end of my round. This is my chain two where I started and I finished inserting one double crochet in each stitch. Now we're going to end the round by slip stitching at the top of your chain two, just like how we've been ending our previous rounds. You just go into the chain two and you slip stitch. And now we're going to be starting our next round. So you're gonna chain two and then you're going to be double crocheting into 
this stitch and then you're going to be inserting one double crochet in each chain as well so if you have five chains you're going to be inserting five double crochets in total one in each chain okay my chains are super tight so it's hard for me to go through them okay so yeah just go into your chains and insert one double crochet make sure you don't accidentally skip any okay i got it all right so once you reach back here i'll show you what to do next so I did one double crochet in each of my chains and now I'm back to my regular stitches and you're just going to be inserting one double crochet in each stitch and you're going to complete the round like normal and then I'm going to show you what it looks like once you try it on. So just go all the way around inserting one double crochet in each stitch. All right, I'm at the end of my round. I'm not going to be inserting a double crochet here because that is your slip stitch and not an actual stitch. So be careful not to work into that as well. And I'm just gonna be slip stitching into the top of my chain too, <laughs> like that. And now I'm gonna try it on and show you what it looks like. So the way that I made it is that it could easily fit this hand or if I just turn it around like this, it's gonna fit my other hand. So I'm just gonna slide this on, put your thumb in it, and there you go. That is your arm warmer. Let me lift it up so I can show you better. That's how it fits. I'm just gonna pull it a little bit more to make it a little bit tighter. And there you go. So when you're making the arm warmer for the other hand, you're going to follow the exact same steps, but you're just going to wear it with the other side showing. And the way that I've made the pattern is that you don't need to turn it inside out to hide, like, where is it? <laughs> to hide that, oh, to hide this line where you joined it. So my pattern makes things a little bit neater and easier to work with because you don't have to twist or anything. And yeah, so that's what it will look like on your other hand. You don't have to change anything, just follow the same steps to make the arm warmer for both hands. So I'm almost done with my arm warmer, but I do think that it needs one more round. But I tried doing a whole round of double crochets and it kind of looked really chunky. So I wanna do another round, but with a smaller stitch. So I'm going to be using single crochets to do another round to give it a little bit more length. I just chained one at the beginning of the round and now I'm inserting one single crochet in each stitch to give me a little bit more length but also not as much length as a full round of double crochet would give me. Now of course you could do a whole round of double crochet or single crochet, it's completely up to you. This is just my preference and I want to make sure that you guys know exactly what I'm doing or what I did to create mine. Sorry, it just keeps moving. And once I finish this round, I'm going to be showing you how to fasten off your arm warmer and then you can create, you can crochet both your arm warmers and then we're going to move on to the leg warmers and also add some details to our work. When I'm done with my round of single crochets, I'm just going to slip stitch into the first stitch that I made in the round and just slip stitch. And then to fasten off, you can chain one or two, and then you can get your scissor, cut it, pull, tighten, and then you can weave in your ends however you like to do it with a plastic needle. But here is what your arm warmer should look like. You can also turn it inside out if you like the way the inside stitches look better than the outside stitches. I just prefer this look. I think it looks nicer, but it's completely up to you. And yeah, we're all done with the arm warmer. You're, you can make two of these, you can try them on, and then we'll be adding some details. Here are my finished arm warmers. They're so comfy, so cozy, and I absolutely love them. And you can make so many of these really quickly. I literally finished these in under three hours. I do crochet really fast though, but if you're an intermediate level crochet, then you should probably be able to as well and i literally don't want to take them off i'm so proud of them they were so easy to create 
And now we're going to be adding the little bow details. I'm going to be using pink yarn for this, but you can leave your arm warmers as they are, or you can add the little pink bows with me. So now I'm going to show you how I made this little bow charm that I'm going to be sewing onto my arm warmer. You're going to be needing just your hook and the color that you want to use for the charm. I'm going to be using a light pink. And you're going to start off by just making a slip knot with the color of yarn that you're using. And then you're just going to chain the length that you need to make your bow. So you're just chaining and then when you're done chaining, you're going to fasten it off. So let's pretend that I want to do this many chains. Once you're done, you're just going to cut, pull, and then tighten. And you're going to have that little chain over here. And then you can cut the ends. You can just cut these off and you're going to have ends that look like this. And then once you have your chain, you're going to be making it into a bow shape. So I'm going to show you how I did that. I'd say that my chain is roughly around 30 to 40 chains long. So you could try 30, 40, and you could keep trying on making the bow. And then once you get the size that you like, just fasten it off. So you're going to start off by making a regular knot and try to make the knot as much in the center of your chain as you can and then once your knot is there you're gonna make a bow and the bow is basically gonna tighten on the knot and then you can adjust the ends so hopefully you guys know how to make a bow so you just tighten it loosen the ends and then just basically make it the shape that you want it to be and once you're happy with it you just have your bow Put your arm warmer on and then see where you want your bow to be and just mark that spot so you can just sew it on. I'm going to be using a plastic needle tied yarn. I'm going to go in and then just come out, go back in and just sew it on. So here's how I sew it on. I just mark the stitch where I would like my bow to be placed on and then I take the bow, just going to remove this and then put my needle through make sure you leave your end there and then i'm just going to insert it through the back of the bow wherever your needle can fit pull it through and then you're going to just go back in to the other side and and that's basically it your bow should be on and then you just tie a knot to secure it Let's just tie a regular knot sorry i don't know what's going on with me today but you just tighten the knot and then you can double knot triple knot and then your bow will just be on your arm warmer and yeah then you can just cut the ends weave your ends in and that's it here are my finished arm warmers I absolutely love them. I hope you guys do too. Sorry about my camera. And yeah, let's get started with the leg warmers now. For the leg warmers, you're going to make two ribbing pieces. And then on your first ribbing piece, you're going to start doing the rounds just like we did for the arm warmers. And you're going to keep doing these rounds without this hole. Just keep doing the rounds until you have the length that you want for your leg warmer. This is what my leg warmers look like. I made the ribbing and then just worked in rounds on top of it, just like we did for the arm warmers. So same technique, you make the ribbing, you do the rounds on top of it, and you keep going until it's the length that you want. And then you can make your bow and you can sew it on just wherever you want it to and also if you want you can do a round of single crochet like i did at the top so after doing your double crochets you can do two rounds one or two rounds of single crochet and then just end it and there you have your leg warmer super easy both following very similar techniques and yeah i hope you like it if you want you could make another row of ribbing to go on top of your arm warmers i just thought that this already looked so nice and i didn't want to repeat this at the top but if you do want to add another row of ribbing at the top just make it the same size as this area and then slip stitch the sides together 
So fasten off once you're done with these rows and put these two together and just slip stitch all around the edge. I've used this technique in a lot of my projects. If you've done that with me, then you know what I mean when I say slip stitch it together. And yeah, you should be all done once you've sewed on your bow. So sorry, this video is probably gonna end up being a mess, but if you want to add this border with your accent color, I'm gonna show you how to do that next. You just get the color that you wanna use, you're gonna attach it and then single crochet in each stitch, fasten it off and you will be all done. So here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna grab the pink yarn that I'm using and I'm gonna make a little loop with it, just like that. And then I'm gonna attach it to the back of my glove just find any stitch to go through put your hook in sorry i'm not feeling well right now so my voice might sound sound a bit off once you have it pulled through you're just going to chain one and in that same stitch insert a single crochet and you can work over this end so that you don't have to weave it in and once you have that first single crochet you can tighten the end to get rid of that chain and now you're just going to be inserting one single crochet in each stitch all the way around to make this pink border or whatever color border you're using. When you've reached the end and single crochet near the end as well, you're just going to slip stitch and fasten off. So just go into that very first single crochet that you made at the beginning and then just slip stitch. And then you can chain one or two to fasten off and cut and pull and tighten and then you can weave this end in or just tuck it in and there you go i'm gonna do this border on my leg warmers as well to have a nice little accent and there you go